Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Trigger warning, this is about a sex offender who was just caught again. No, not his first time, but again. So this is Sean Lubell and registered sex offender accused of sending inappropriate messages to a nine-year-old girl, including pictures, to a nine-year-old girl. Pender County, North Carolina, a Watham man is accused of sending sexually explicit messages to a nine-year-old girl. Sean Lubell, 34, was arrested on Monday for one count of indecent liberties with a child. That's what they arrested him with, even though he's a sex offender and he's not supposed to be talking to any children or be on any online type stuff with children, right? A warrant states that in decent the incident happened between December 28th and 29th. Pender County Sheriff's Office says the investigation started when the nine-year-old victim reported the inappropriate contact to her parents, who immediately notified law enforcement. Lou Bell, who is a North Carolina registered sex offender for an out-of-state conviction, was arrested without incident. He is the Pen he is in the Pender County Jail under a 10,000 secured bond. Why is it only 10,000? He's obviously going to continue doing this. He doesn't need a chance to get out right now. The Pender County Sheriff's Office continues to stress to parents and caretakers the importance of maintaining control over their child's online activities. How about you take control over these sex offenders? Yes, children should be monitored. Luckily, this, this child went to her parents and went to their parent and told their parent exactly right away what was going on. But how about y'all get control over these damn sex offenders and start making the laws more intense, more stricter, and when they do something, put them in trouble. Quit giving them a slap on the wrist and letting them go on their merry way. The bail should be more than 10000 <clears throat> The bond, excuse me, the bond should be more than 10000 <clears throat> Excuse me. In this case, the victim reported quickly to her parents the inappropriate messages. Her parents acted responsibly by notify notifying the law enforcement without tipping off the suspect. They were aware of his intrusions, which helped law enforcement to investigate the case thoroughly. The sheriff's office asked members of the public with information regarding Lubell, Sean Lubell, concerning this investigation or similar incidents to call. Detective Sergeant Clintard at 910-259-1437. And that is 259-1437. And please, if you have any, if, if you're, anyone knows anything else or has dealt with this man, this man right here, or your children has dealt with him in any kind of way, please contact Sergeant. I mean, they need to put this man where he needs to be to keep children safe. Um, This is what I'm always saying about North Carolina. North Carolina gives too many chances to the wrong people. Now, if they see a black man on the street walking around doing something, they'll arrest him right there. Oh, well, you're, you're this, you're that. Or you're not, what are you doing out here? Why are you walking over here? But then when you have someone like this who is doing these things and they have the text and they have the proof and the child is telling them it's this person, they'll slap on the wrist. Oh, just put him on probation. Just give him probation. A lot of these sex offenders have jobs or run their own business and they can afford the bond, the bail. They can afford the lawyer fees, the probation. They can afford to move. They can afford to start over. It's not fair to society, our public, and our children that the law does nothing. And they let them go and they continue to reoffend over and over and over. Just like this man, Sean Lubell, who already has convictions. Not, and they're not even saying we think. These are convictions. Yes, he has been convicted of doing these things in other states. That's what it says right here. Out-of-state conviction was arrested without incident. Out-of-state conviction means, yes, he has done this somewhere else and been convicted of it. Now, he is a sex offender in North Carolina because of these out-of-state conviction. That should automatically tell our judicial system, look, this person is not going to stop. They need to be locked up. 
But no, they'll give him probation and another chance because that's what they do. I mean, I really wish President Biden would come to North Carolina and just clean house with all of our CPS, our social services, um, our uh, get our law enforcement training updated, get our equipment updated, you know, get all these crooked people out of these authority seats. You know, they have too much power, too much authority. Get them out. Bring in new people who will appreciate the job and do it right. And I'll tell you another problem we have in North Carolina, and I ain't saying this to be mean, so don't come at me. Don't come for me. <laughs> but we have what we got to call these old fogies, and it's the older generation who runs the city councils, mayor, sheriff department, everything. And they're doing things the same way they did things 50 years ago. So you don't see a change. They don't even have updated equipment. In um, the hometown that I grew up in, in Columbus County, they don't even have updated jet, like an, um, excuse me, an updated training services for police officers. Police officers don't make much money. They don't get training. They spend more money. You know what's weird? I always wonder, what do they do with the evidence? They do these police auctions here where they sell cars that they've towed and they sell different things they have um, taken from criminals, right? Where does that money go? But yet, yeah, our sheriff has bought over like, um, I think like $3 million worth of like army type stuff, tanks and stuff like that, helicopter. We can't even get our roads fixed. Where's our education lottery going here? It's a lot of questions that have not been answered. And I really wish President Biden would come and just clean house and let us start over and get us some fresh faces. I mean, we had a senator called R.C. Souls that was accused of sexually molesting many boys. And giving and we and I, I can tell you some stories about this because oh man. <clears throat> but he was a lawyer and his lawyer's office was in a place called Tabor City, North Carolina. And when you would go to his office to try to hire him as a lawyer, you couldn't even get in from all the guys, the boys in the office lined up at the door who were strung out and trying to get money from him for sexual favors and threatening him for money because they had already done sexual favors and claimed they hadn't been paid. All of this stuff, people, hundreds of people have witnessed around here. Nobody listens. This man was still a lawyer. It just, it blows my mind what they allow here in North Carolina. It's crazy. So I had to leave that town, especially Columbus County, because we couldn't get no help. Nobody could get help. So much money was disappearing, and nobody explains where it goes. If you try to get food stamps or benefits, they tell you, no, you don't qualify, even if you have kids. But then you'll see somebody with, like, one kid, and they have a job getting $700 a month. Then you'll see a homeless woman with three kids, and she won't be getting $200 a month if that. And they'll stay on her butt to see what she's doing, where she's at, if she's working. But it's all about who these social workers know when they're giving out the benefits. If they know you, they'll help you. If they don't know you like that, you ain't getting nothing. You think I'm lying about all this? Talk to people in Columbus County, North Carolina. Talk to people in Lumberton. Talk to people in um, uh, Brunswick County. Talk to all these counties. Bladen County. Pender, Robinson, they'll all tell you the same story. It's very crooked, shady stuff that goes on in these counties. And we can't get nothing new or different because these people from 50 years ago are still running everything. Or their kids are. So everything stays the same. Nothing changes for the better. Anyways, that's Sean Lubell and... We need a better judicial system in um, North Carolina, Columbus County. They're giving the p wrong people second, third, fourth, fifth chances. I'll tell you like this. This man's caught doing this, and he's out on the streets, right? Convicted sex offender out of another state. In North Carolina, gets caught again. He'll get another chance, because that's what happens in North Carolina. A friend of mine, when he was younger, broke into a house. Um, got a stereo speaker and a, car a carton of cigarettes. You know, he got almost 10 years for breaking and entering. So, yeah. 
anywho, that happens a lot in North Carolina, South Carolina too. It happens in a lot of states. It ain't just North Carolina. It's a lot of states. A lot of crooked, horrible home, like small town stuff goes on. Anyways, be on the lookout. And if you have any information, call that detective that I gave the number to. And thanks for watching. Bye. Try to do some more videos in just a little while.